Hi guys and welcome back to Broken Game Rates Fish. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you everything I clean my aquarium with and all the tools I use to keep my fish tank clean. <music> So this is the aquarium now. Um, now the shrimp was out a minute ago. Okay, it's not. So we recently cleaned the aquarium, you know, actually did a full clean. You can see everything looks a bit different. The plants move around every time. Anyway, we have one Paldanio in here, two Leopardanios, two Zebradanios, two Platys, three snails and two shrimp. Shrimp usually are under the wood. Oh, look, hang on. Can you see that? Those little white things, that, that's part, of, that's like the shrimp. Yeah, that's part of the shrimp. Uh, what's it called? The whisker thing, my mom says. Anyway, to keep my aquarium clean, it takes all of this stuff. So, for a start, it requires two fish nets. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'll just put it on the floor, I guess. This scrubber thing to get rid of the algae off the acrylic, plastic, whatever. These cloths are usually just to dry your hands, I'm not going to lie. Don't know what this is for. Oh, yeah, we put the filter in here. We've got all these gloves. And then we use three buckets to clean it. 40 litre aquarium, 10 litre buckets. We have this mat down. I've got to put this away in a minute. Then we require another fish net. This thing is absolutely destroyed, so we do not use this for fish necessarily. We use it for gravels and stuff like that. Then we've got two of these water things, one for the filter again and one for taking water out. I don't know why we've never used a watering can ever, uh, but there's a watering can here. Now, this obviously isn't anything to do with it, but we do have some fish backgrounds actually part of this background here the effort i went through renovating this aquarium unbelievable honestly we've got another background here this was nice i would like to set, i would like to set this tank rack up and which i did mention in my, the previous video about doing shell dwellers in that aquarium and i still think i might do that um but some of the plans might be a little bit different so let's put them there i've got to put all this back like i've said yeah, this is the background casing thing. This, again, we put the filter in as well. These are some extra fish stuff, you know, turtle stuff for the previous renovations in that tank. This we don't use, but I do have one of these to get the water and the substrate out if needed. Uh, we've got this magnet, which, again, I don't tend to use on that tank. We've got a brush. I don't know what we need this for. This isn't necessarily for cleaning the fish. It's for, like, getting a snail that's flipped upside down, which usually they'll flip over on their own, but in case they don't... Um, I don't know what we use those for. Um, we've got another plant. Quite like this one. It's a bit sharp, though, so kind of have to sort that out. Uh, we've got filter pads, you know, different ones in there. Uh, scrubbing brush. That has fish food in it. That's probably mouldy, to be honest. Uh, old substrate for other aquariums. Tap safe to make the water safe. I'm pretty sure that's it. What's in this? That's extra piece of wood. Yeah, and we also have a knife i don't know what we use a knife for oh, we use a knife oh no this is the extra wood so what's that oh it's a spare filter stingray filter yeah that's for when i want to set up that other aquarium up anyway let's go and put all this back now so let's try and remember how this went this was in here that was in here that was in there that was in there these were in there that was in there those two we're in here for some reason, and that one was in here. I don't really know, don't really get what we're going with here, but that are oh, the watering can, you're kidding. <sighs> Trying to get it in like an order that's similar. There was a, used to be a really sharp knife on it in here. I don't know why we have it necessarily. I don't actually know why we have that knife in there. Uh, but yeah, water source thing with bobs. This sucker tube thing with bob. This. This. This, it now looks like a complete mess, lovely. It's fine, it all goes in, hopefully. Squeeze it down a little bit, there we go. More room. Uh, and then that, that's, that's pretty much everything. Um, I do want to record a video <sighs> of me cleaning the fish, and I'm sure we'll do that eventually. Um, but as for right now, that's probably as close as we're going to get. I do want to do a fish fact video. I've done that ages and ages ago, not even on this channel, before the channel even existed. Um, I want to do it again. I want to do a filter facts. I want to do snail facts. You know, there's a lot of content that I have planned before we change a few things about this tank. You know, turn it tropical water, do some shell dwellers. Because for those who don't know, this is a 10-gallon aquarium. Perfect size for shell dwellers. Starting a little colony, and we'll figure out what we'll do. Um... 
yeah, go watch the last video if you're interested in that. But that's pretty much everything. All right, guys, that's it in this Broken Game Rates Fish YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Another Broken Game Rates Fish YouTube video. That's the end of the video. Bye, guys. <laughs>